Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA 21 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player review and the last one of the day. I know I said Iñaki Williams was my last one, but I saw this Junior Zambia card and he honestly reminded me of one of my favorite right wing backs, right backs from last year. And honestly, the coincidence is crazy because he was also, I believe, five star, four star, and his name was David Da Costa from Germany. And he was one of my favorite right backs. And then I see this Junior Samba card, and he is honestly really cheap at 120,000 coins. You're getting a steal, man. Just look at that card. It is Club 80. And today we're going to be reviewing them at center mid and center back. Yes, guys, those top two positions is where I want to play them. We know at right back he can definitely do the job because he has the stats for it. But this review specifically for those players that like to play their fullbacks in the midfield or the fullbacks at center back. I know it's like horrible to do that, but I mean, if you like it, you like it. If it's effective for you, it is effective. And this Junior Samba is a prime candidate for those positions. He's 6'1", medium, medium, right footed, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. You love to see that, man. 120,000 coin. He is fresh off the market. And yes, look at those stats, guys. Only two stats are in the green, just like Thiago, Thiago Alcantara, which I did review earlier today. Go check that out. It is a crazy review. And yeah, guys, let's look. talk about the pace of 92, 87 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. Yes, yes, yes. I love seeing that, guys. I have applied an anchor chemistry style because I am going to be playing him, like I said, at center rack and center mid. I want to test his defensive prowess. And with that 96 sprint speed, he should be able to catch up to a lot of the attackers coming my way. Onto the shooting of 80. Then need to shot power 84 long shots. I'll try to get one or two when he is in that midfield. He is medium, medium, so he won't be making though that type of runs. But you never know, guys. Crazier things have happened in FIFA 21. Onto the passing of 85, 81 vision, 91 crossing, 91 free kick accuracy, 83 free short passing, and 81 a long passing. Hopefully, I get one or two assists with this card, and we can see what his passing is made of. Onto the dribbling of 85, 92 agility, 84 balance. I love seeing that, man. The only thing that worries me is that 78 reactions because the reactions are a key stat in a defender. So we're going to see if that affects him or not whenever it comes to intercepting or just making that right defensive play. He does have 81 composure though, so that's all right, I guess. He should be making the key tackles in the key moments of the game. Onto the defending of 82, 79 interceptions, 82 defensive awareness, and 85 standing tackle. If you're going to be playing him at center rack, you honestly could put a shadow if you wanted to and just increase that defending as much as possible. But I went with an anchor to increase that strength up to 95 and then the aggression up to 80. He has 99 jumping, 91 stamina. So he should last you the whole game. And lastly, the player traits. He has no player traits. Guys, that'll be enough of the intro. I'm so excited to try out Junior Sambia. Is he worth it? Is he not? Well, guys, we're going to find that out next. All right, first touch for Sambia, guys. Let's go. Oh, nice. Get out of here. Sambia loses the ball. But he gets it right back, man. Propelling him in the right center mid position. Good pass to Chinito, man. The Chan. Let's go, Chan. Ah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful AI. Beautiful AI. And great standing tackle right there, man. I don't even have to press circle. Oof. That's the second time he loses that ball right there. I don't know if I should have shielded him. But let's see. Feels pretty good side to side movement though. Definitely you can tell. Look at that. Beautiful interception. And great pass to Mbappe. And it's going to lead to a goal guys. Se viene Chan. Chan. Five star weak foot. Chan. Que golazo guys. Goal, goal, goal. And I love seeing that. Zambia's defensive play turns into Juan Chi Chan. I, I've always pronounced, mispronounced his name. I'm just going to call him Chan like I did in my review. Go check that out, guys. That is a crazy one. And we are up 1-0 in foot champs. Three early defensive plays on Sambia's part. Looking promising, guys. Look at that. He even got the elastico, guys. Nice. Oof. Almost yeah. Sambia. There we go. Nice, man. I'm really liking his uh, 
his reactions, guys. I know it's in the 78s, but so far, so good. Thank you very much. Get an assist. Beautiful pass. Vamos. Ah, he's offside right there. All right, speed test right there. I lost the ball with Kante. Nice. Get out of here, Neymar. Beautiful way to outbody Neymar. If he doesn't outbody them, Neymar is through on goal. All right, speed test for Zambia, guys. Vamos. Feels super smooth, man. When I'm controlling him, I know I'm locking him right now, but look at that. Beautiful. Stopping that pass. And Acuna finishes the job, guys. Look at Zambia making the run, man. And he's able to get to that pass right there. No tiene Messi. Messi se la pasa para Cante, Cante. Back to Mbappe. Let's find the main man. Vamos, Zambia. Nice. Great pass to Chan. Ay. I have switched Zambia to center back. And we're going to be testing him out in that position. Nobody should be able, be able to pass him, man. At midfield, he was really good. Vamos, great standing tackle right there. Wow, game saving standing tackle right there from Zambia. That's the sprint speed, guys. No, not, not, not on Zambia. He has everything you want, man. Ah, and Kante doesn't have a single pass in him. I'm out, guys. I'm out. I cannot believe that just happened. After a long day of reviews, I am glad I went up to my TV, turned it on, turned on my PlayStation 5, and got this Zambia to review him because this guy is a monster. And he's one of my favorite right backs in the game, guys. He can play everywhere. CDM, CM, right back, center back, left back. Wherever you're going to play him on the defensive side of the pitch, this guy will perform excellent. You saw it for yourself. I played him in two different positions and he got the game winning goal. So you know he has ice in his veins. So let's go straight into the pros. Number one is obviously going to be that. 92 pace of his man the 92 pace is fantastic especially the sprint speed man i think it is if i'm not mistaken guys it is 96 and you can definitely tell that like, he's able to catch up to uh to ease to almost everyone on the pitch and you love to see that onto the next pro is going to be 92 agility yes he feels super smooth and that is a big reason why the agility on this card is fantastic another pro i really liked on this card is the 85 standing tackle and the 85 strength that makes him affordable center back in my opinion a defensive wall in the french wall at that and then the last pro is going to be that five star four star combination good stuff there nothing much more to say all these players have five star five star five star four star we all know it is good and that's why these cards are expensive you know on to the cons the only con that i can think of is that 78 reactions and the reason i say that is because i'm a firm believer in that if your defender does not have high reactions he will cost you a goal or two so i have to put that there but if you don't care about it then it is not a con and this card has no cons and now on to the leo tips i already spoiled it for you so you can just read it for yourself and we'll go straight into the meta rating and the meta rating on this card is going to be an 8.5 out of 10 very meta player you can play multiple positions very versatile and the final rating will be a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed him for 120k. You're getting one of the best right backs in the game. So say goodbye to Clybert and pick this card up. You're going to have a lot more fun using that than Clybert. But anyways, I will conclude today's review. Hopefully it helped you out in deciding whether you want to pick up this card or not. It was a much needed position in the League 1. I know the Ciclio, or whatever his name was, the storyline card from level 30. He was out and I know a lot of people don't play. I personally did not even get it. I got to like level 28 and I gave up. So this is a good option for you. But yeah guys, this is Leo. I bid you goodbye and good night.